So your quarterly is a very good gym. How are things going at the uh, library? Oh, I told you, I couldn't make it, so... Ah, so you've come to the master for guidance. Is that what I'm hearing, Grasshopper? Uh, actually, you called me in here. But... Well, uh, let me show you how it's done. All right, done deal. Thank you very much, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, um, I... That was a woman I was talking to. Very low voice, probably a smoker. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, that's the way it's done. I've been working here for uh, 12 years, the last four years regional manager. If you uh, come this way. Well, you see, we have the uh, entire floor. This is my kingdom, as far as the eye can see. If you come over here, this here's uh, Pam. Pam, Pam! This is Pam. She's been uh, working here for uh, forever, right, Pam? You think she's cute now? You should have seen her a couple of years ago. Rawr. What? Uh, uh, nothing. We we have any faxes? Uh, yeah. Oh, this is uh, this is from corporate. I know. Didn't uh, I tell you that we have a special bin for corporate? You didn't tell me. It's called the waste paper basket. People say that I am the best boss. They go, God, we've never worked in a place like this before. You're hilarious, and you get the best out of us. Um. I think this sums it up. I found it at Spencer Gifts. Job is to uh, speak to clients about uh, you know quantities and. Uh, type of copier paper, whether we can supply it to them, whether they can pay for it. <laughs> I'm boring myself talking about it. What's that? I still love that after seven years. What's that? What's that? Sorry? Nothing? No. Oh. Alright, see you later. Alright, take care. Back to work. Oh uh, yeah, so just uh, reach me out sometime today, okay? Um, I don't know, just... I'll talk to you later, okay? Jed! Hello! So, was there anything you wanted to add to the agenda? Mm, me don't get an agenda. Sorry, what? I, di I didn't get an agenda. Well, I faxed one over to you this morning. Uh, you fa um, did we get a fax this morning, Pam? Uh, yeah, I got one. Uh, then why isn't it in my hand? Because uh, company runs on efficiency of communication, so, uh, so what's the problem, Pam? Why didn't I get one? You put it in the garbage can. That's a special filing cabinet. Gah! Yeah, that, that was supposed to be, uh, that's a joke. It's my brother's. Um, it's supposed to be with bills. It doesn't really work as well with facts. Oh, yeah, I do. Thank you. So Ellen and the board have decided that we can't justify having a Scranton and a Stanford branch. branch. Oh, okay. Now, Michael, don't panic. No, 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 no. Michael, this is fine. No, no, no. This is fine. Listen, this Michael, it's, it's okay. all good. It's all good. Fine. Um, we haven't made any full decisions you know, alarm, yet. Alarm bells are kind of going ringy, dingy, dingy. And you know, it's, it's either you it's or okay. him it's okay. to it's convince good. me that you can incorporate the other. Now, this does mean that there is going to be some downsizing. You don't want to hear that, Jen. Because downsizing is a bitch. A real bitch. I certainly wouldn't wish that on Josh's men. I certainly wouldn't wish that on my men. Or women. Peasant company excluded. So is uh, Josh concerned about downsizing himself? I, I don't mean downsizing himself, but is Josh concerned about downsizing? Well... <laughs> Question, how long do we have to act? Oh, that's Todd Packer. Terrific rep. Mind if I get this? Go ahead. All right. Pac-Man! Hey, you big queen. Oh. Hey, is old Godzilla rep. coming in today? I a question. Um, um, I don't know what you mean. Does the carpet match the drapes? Oh, my God. That's, that's not uh, horrifying. That's horrifying. Horrible, horrible person. So do you think we can keep a lid on this for now? Don't want to worry people unnecessarily. 
Yeah, I, absolutely. Uh, under this regime, my lips are sealed. What does downsizing actually mean? Well. I've got a very important question for you. Yes. Are you going to Angela's cat party on Sunday? <laughs> yeah, stop. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Hey! Hey! This is Mr. Scott. Guilty. Guilty as charged. All right, Ryan Howard from the Tempe. Uh-huh. Benicola sent me down to start today. Oh, Howard? Like, like Mo Howard? Three Stooges? This is Mo. Yuck, 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 yuck. Knee! <laughs> oh, Pam. It's a guy thing, Pam. Anyway, I'm kind of a student of comedy. See? Watch this. Ready? Nine! 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 Get it? Adolf Hitler! I don't think it would be the worst thing if they let me go. Um, because then I might, I just don't think it's many little girls' dreams to become a receptionist. I do illustrations, mostly watercolor, a few oil pencil, um, Jim thinks they're good. Sure. Um, Mr. Davis, let me call you right back. Yeah, something just came up. Two minutes. Thank you very much. Wait, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm just cleaning my desk. It's not your desk. It's overlapping. It's all flowing over the edge. One word, two syllables. Demarcation. You can't do that. Why not? I could fall. I'm piercing an organ. We'll see. See, this is why downsizing doesn't bother me. Downsizing? Downsizing? I have no problem with that. I've been recommending downsizing since I got here. I even brought it up in my interview. I say, bring it on. Mm, you just stopped these messages from yesterday. Oh, relax, everything's under control. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. All right. These these are uh, these are important. I'm gonna run back to my office and uh, answer them. What? Oh, come on! Six million dollar man, Steve Austin. Speaking of which, that would be a good uh, salary for me, don't you think? Six million dollars. Nope to Jan. I need a raise. Don't we all? I'm sorry? Oh, nothing. Pam, if you're unhappy with your compensation, you should go speak to HR about it, but just not right now, okay? Just be a professional, Pam. All right, so uh, I know there's been a lot of rumors going around, and uh, I've just decided I should clear them up. Uh, 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 assistant regional manager, I think it's Neil Brooks. Assistant to the regional uh, manager. Yeah, well, uh, okay, can you just tell me, please? Dwight, I'm just about uh, to tell please. everyone. Hey, can you just tell us? Uh, please? Okay, can you? Dwight, just, just you don't me. even know what it is. Okay, you can tell them with my permission. I don't need your permission. Mission grants, go ahead. All right, so corporate has decided to put an ultimatum upon me, and they're going to either be downsizing the Stanford branch or this branch. Yeah, but Michael, what if they downsize here? Not gonna happen. Could be out of your hands, Michael. Uh, it's not gonna be out of my hands, Stanley. I promise you that. Oh, can you promise that? On his mother's grave. <laughs> no, well, uh, well, it, it is a promise, all right? And quite frankly, I'm a little bit insulted that you have to keep asking that. It's just that we need to know. Uh, Pam, you, uh, you wanted to say something? You kind of had that look that you wanted to say something. Well... I was in the meeting with Jan, and she did say it could be this branch that gets the act. What? Are you sure about that? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, uh, Pam, how about we stick to the ongoing confidentiality agreements that we have going, all right? Yeah, Pam, information is power. So you can't say for sure whether it's going to be our branch or theirs? No, no, no. Stanley, no, all right. You should have seen me in there with her, all right? I said if corporate wants to come in here and interfere, all right, they'll have to go through me first, all right? They can go mess with Josh's men, but I'm the head of this family and they ain't gonna be messing with my chillin'. Now do you look down and shake in your yeah, head yeah, thingy? Yeah, yeah. I was still looking at him? You're like, oof. Yeah, you're like... If I left, what would I do with all this useless information in my head? You know, tonnage price of manila folders, um, Pam's favorite flavor of yogurt, which is mixed berry. Pam said mixed berries? Ah, you it's on to me. me. Appreciate it.
I'll watch out for this guy. This is Dwight Shrew. Dwight, introduce yourself to Ryan. Uh, what's up? Nice to meet you. Dwight, be polite. Uh, Dwight, to uh, assistant regional manager. Assistant to the regional manager. Assistant regional manager. Dwight, you should tell him about your, uh, your car and the kung fu and, and everything. Oh yeah, I got a 78 280Z. Bought it for 12000 Fixed up. It's now worth the event. That's his profit. Uh, new engine, suspension. I got it least spayed. I got some photos in my desk. Damn it, Jim. Oh, hold up. Hang on, hang on. Judge is in the session. What's the problem here? He put my stuff in jello again. It's the third time, and it wasn't funny the first two times either. It's okay here, but uh, people sometimes take advantage because it's so relaxed. I'm a sheriff's deputy helper on the weekends, and you cannot screw around now. Sort of on the rules. <laughs> what is that? It's my what is that? Oh no no no, Dwight, Dwight, you have to uh, you have to eat it out of there. There are uh, there are starving children in the world, which I hate. That's a uh, it's a waste of that kind of food. Okay, you can be a witness. Can you recommend him, please? How do you know it's me? It's always you. Are you gonna discipline him or not? Ooh, discipline, kinky. All right, uh, so guys, all right. There's a thing about practical jokes. All right. You need to know when to start as well as when to stop. And Jim, yeah, I think it's time to stop putting uh, Dwight's personal effects into Jello. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry, Dwight. It's just that you've always been my biggest plan. <coughs> oh, there it is, new guy. All right, so, as you know, that's how things are around here. It just goes round and round and round. Yeah, uh, you should put him in custody. Oh, man, oh, the new guy gets his point. Yep. Okay, I guess I'm just... What I'm most concerned about with it is uh, damage to company property, you know, that's all. Pudding. Pudding. I think we have another dessert to do. Do you like going out for the end of the weekend? Yeah. Because that's why we're all going out for the uh, end of the weekend. So, when are we going out? I don't know. Tonight? Possibly. Okay. Just tell her, uh, I'll talk to her later. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Definitely, dude. All right. Do I think I'll be invited to the wedding? So, uh, have you felt the vibe yet? You know, we work hard, we play hard. Sometimes we play hard when we should be working hard. I guess the environment that I've set up here is that I'm, uh, I'm a friend first, a boss second, and uh, probably an entertainer third. Just a second. Okay, have you have you heard of the James Kennedy experiment? Yeah. You know, ex-punked and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. All right, all right. Just, just, you're my accomplice. Just follow my lead. Come in. So, uh, corporate said that I don't want to. You got a fax? Oh, thank you, Pam. Hey, uh, Pam, can you uh, come in for a second? Yeah. Yeah, just, just have a seat. Uh, I was wanting to call you in anyway. So, uh, Ryan, you know how there was going to be downsizing, right? Uh, Pam? You have made my life so much easier in the fact that I'm going to be having to let you go first. Wait, what? Why? Well, uh, theft and stealing. Stealing? Mm-hmm. And what am I supposed to have stolen? Post-it notes. Post-it notes? Yep. 
50 cents. Yeah, you steal a thousand post notes at 50 cents a piece and you get uh, a profit margin. You're gonna run us out of business, Pam. Are you serious? Yeah, I am. Uh, I can't believe this. I've never stolen so much as a paperclip in my life and now you're firing me? Yeah, and the, uh, <clears throat> the best thing about it is too, is that uh, we're not gonna give you severance pay because that's <laughs> It's gross misconduct, then. <laughs> just, pack, just pack your bags, Pam. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> You've been ex-punked! Surprise! It was a joke. We were joking. See, it was, it was kind of... It was kind of supposed to be like a morale booster, you know? Showing the new guy around, you know, give him a, a feel of the place. God, God, we just, we got you. We had you so good. You're a jerk. Well, I don't, I don't know about that. What is the most important thing for a company? Is it the cash flow? Is it the inventory? No, it's the people. The people, my proudest moment here was not when I increased profits by 17% or when I cut expenses without losing a single employee. No, 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 no. It was when he, it was a young Guatemalan guy, first job in the country, barely spoke English, came to me and said, Mr. Scott, would you be the godfather of my child? Wow, wow, wow. Didn't work out in the end. We had to let him go. He sucked. Hey. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. Uh, I thought you were going for a drink with... Oh, no. Just decided not to. How's your headache? It's good. Yeah. Thanks. It's good. It's good. Uh, are you... Um... Am I walking out? Yeah. Yeah. You wanna? Yeah. Great. Let me just uh, grab my... Oh, Roy. Yeah, listen. Have a good weekend. Yeah, you too. Enjoy it.